So what we're going to talk about is the 11 commandments. Now this is the stuff that was orchestrated uh, when Stan and I became business partners. And this came from uh, both of our sides of what happened was is I've had my products in about six different companies. And what I found in these companies was that they were ripping people off. And even though they wanted my products in their companies, they were always asking me to dilute products, which I wouldn't do. And they weren't paying people the way that they said that they would. So uh, the it came out to be about 15 commandments that I had. And everybody kept telling me the only way you're gonna be able to do this is to have your own company. So when I met Stan Castleman and I shared with him this, he added some influence on it. And the 15 commandments, even with Stan's adding to it, went down to 11 because he, he basically uh, combine some of them for us in his ability and that's what you're going to see today this is the rules that this company goes by these are the rules so that you understand what kind of company you're involved with or getting involved with or possibly getting involved with i want you to understand what we do and how we do it and why we do it and that's what this little presentation is going to be about and so i'm going to use these Hopefully that you'll understand it. I hope that you appreciate it. And those of you that have been asking for it, here we go. And then if you have time at the end, you can watch a one minute presentation on all of our products. And then um, hopefully that'll help you in a quick uh, scenario of each product. All right, so most companies are created to uh, create the company first and the product last. Uh, commandment number one, there is no BV or PV. Uh, commissions shall be paid dollar for dollar at 100% of par. What does that mean? Well, most companies, if they sell you a product, let's say the product is $100, and if the product's $100, you're going to get paid a bonus value, which is BV, for $60. That means you're paying $100, and you're only getting paid as if you only spent $60. That's another way for the company to cut 40% off of it. I find it to be dishonest, and Stan agreed with me, and it, it had to be one of the rules is dollar for dollar, so that if you buy $100 worth of products, you're going to get $100 worth of commission paid, okay? That's a big deal because most people don't do that because all the other products are adjusted by BV and PV, meaning if it's a $100 product, they might only pay you 37% commission because it's an expensive product, which means you only get paid your commission, your percentage, on $37. If your percentage is four and a quarter percent, and that's on $37, and you paid $100, and everybody below you paid $100, you're getting pretty ripped off by two thirds of what you should get paid. So that's why that's our number one commandment. Our number. Uh, no gimmicks like most other companies where, so commandment number two is all products will be placed in the company and the comp plan at true retail price. Um, this was one of those things that uh, was hard for everybody to understand because most companies, when you say what's a true retail price, they say, oh, you mean value. Well, everybody can hype their value and say the value of this product is $300. It's really good for you. But what I said was a true retail price, and this is why it had to be this way, is what you would get if you went to another store and bought a like product of equal value. Meaning, if you're in a company and you're buying a juice product at $300 a month, and you go to Costco and find that it's $39.95, you're feeling ripped off. Does that make sense? So we didn't want that. So what we wanted to do was to create um, all of the products to be at a real retail price, which to me is you know $29.95, $34.95. That's a basic price in any health food store for a good quality product. Um, Stan, is it okay if I share uh, how we did that? Yeah. Okay. So. Stan is a numbers guy. Stan is fantastic with numbers. And I probably am not so much. So when I said to Stan, and we were agreeing upon this about five years ago in our, in, in, as we were creating these companies, um, Stan said that's impossible to do. And to do it as a real retail price. So say 
You have the, can you guys see what I'm holding up, Stan? No, okay. Well, I'm holding up a bottle. Oh, okay. Um, so like this product right here, if we're gonna sell it at $29.95 and pay you at dollar for dollar on the commission scale and also pay you what we're presenting to pay you, it would be impossible to do it because you have to have a certain amount of markup to be able to pay out the distributor and a certain amount of, you know, there's, all, there's all the numbers in there. So what, um, everybody said that was impossible to be able to do that. And I said, well, we own everything. I own absolutely everything. Why can't we do whatever we want? And Stan said, well, if you can do it through the manufacturing plant without making any profit, so whatever we manufacture it for, that dead cost, zero cost, and I, Josh, don't take uh, a royalty, which typically I do on, on every product in any other company. Um, if I don't take my royalty, meaning I get my cut for creating the product, and the company, the manuf my manufacturing plant, does it at cost zero, then we could actually do it at a true retail price, at, say $29.95, $39.95, whatever the cost of the product is, and you guys could still get paid the correct price. I hope that makes sense. It was quite a sacrifice on uh, our part to do this as the manufacturing plant and myself, but it makes it so you guys get a product that you can afford. The reason this is, is uh, the, the Mod of the One, um, this is sold from $180 to about $250 uh, per bottle in other companies. Not for this one, this is the fourth or fifth generation of the, of the product, but the first line of it, and all the ones in between this one and that one, uh, so one, two, three, and four, were all sold between $180 and $240, $250 per bottle. We sell this for $79.95. How's that possible? Well, like I just explained, is that we do it at cost at the, at the manufacturing plant for Mana from Heaven, and I don't pay, get paid a royalty on it for creating the product. Now, if we sold this for $240 a month instead of $79, that would mean only people that can afford that could have the health that this brings. That I do not agree with, Stan and I do not agree with, and that is why this is a rule, and this is a big rule, is that you need to be able to afford the product. Not, not just should you get paid from it, but you need to be able to afford the product, and we need to be able to help people around the world. We can't help people around the world, and we can't help your neighbor and your brother and your cousin and your daughter if they can't afford to purchase this product. That's why this commandment is so important, and it's very important to me, and I hope you understand it. I hope I did a good well job uh, explaining it to you so you'll never do well, you'll never get what the typical network marketing company does which is 200 to 350 percent of true retail because you got to remember network marketing was created to this this was the rules of network marketing it was a great idea is to uh, to sell a product without the advertising money so that you do it belly to belly person to person, people you know, and that's how we cut out that um, advertising dollar and give it to you as a commission instead. So that's how it was brought up, but what most companies found is they could rip people off by bringing it up 300, 350% and then do the BV and PV trick on you and the companies make billions of dollars and the distributors don't. So commandment number three is the comp plan is designed for the little guy to make it. That's a big deal. Stan and I uh, love that. As you guys know, most of you know Stan. Stan's been one of the biggest guys in network marketing, um, been to the top of the uh, highest echelons of, of network marketing in, in several companies. And comp plans are always built for the big guy. And the reason they're built for the big guy is because the big guys will orchestrate a lot of other people and nobody cares if people fall in and fall out as they go as long as the big guy makes lots of money you'll get lots of big guys in fact most network marketing companies these days have bribed big leaders to come in and paid them millions of dollars to come in and orchestrate the whole company and create a blood in the water a shark fest so to speak so that people will join the company and then in 8 to 10 years, 12 years, 15 years, the company goes out of business 
because it's made on a fake. Um, in fact, we know companies, literally, that the big distributors are paid extra silent bonuses to tell the people below them that they can make that kind of money when actually they can't. So what they're showing is, is the comp plan won't pay you, so we're going to pay you extra and lie and pay you extra to stay in our company and to lie to everybody below you to get them to keep ordering products and think it's the carrot before the donkey that the donkey will never receive. And it's a lie. It's fraudulent. It's disgusting. Binaries are typical of this kind of stuff. You'll never, ever, ever reach that. It's a lie. It's a switch and bait. And that's what drives us nuts. The icon of this from my side of the story was a single mother with three kids living in her, in her parents' basement. This is not a dumb woman. This is a smart woman. Maybe she was undereducated because she, she got married too soon, but she has three kids. She's living in her parents' basement. This is an actual person. And this person created the icon for me. This person gets it. This person needs these products. This person had a sleeping disorder and was taking Ambien. This person needed greens. This person needed colon formula. This person cannot afford it. This person is a little less educated than what she should be or could have been. And her ex-husband is not giving her any money. So she's living in her parents' basement. In this company, could she succeed? Yes. In any other company, one, she could not afford my products. In any other company but this one. Two, she wouldn't have the money to do anything and she wouldn't be able to get the healthy benefits from it. But in this case, she could. And with somebody's help of leadership, which kind of goes to my idea and, and to the quiet idea that, that Stan and I believe of how people need to build this company, which is just get two people in, help them get their two people in, and help them help their people get two people in, and then you'll perpetuate this company. With that, a, a single mother with three kids could do that. She could get two people in. That's not overwhelming. And if you're a good leader, you can help her get people in. And if you're a smart leader, you'll get somebody like Stan Castleman on the phone with you and help this single mother get in and help her get two people, and help them get two people, and you'll make plenty of money from doing it this way. The icon of this is this plan is developed for the little guy to make money. We have people making $500 in their first check that have never made a dollar in network marketing. This mother with $500, they say $500 will stop 80% of bankruptcies. $500 per month. What would $500 a month for this woman do? it would have changed her whole life, or it did change her whole life. So many network marketing companies uh, develop their comp plan to uh, create a large breakage, which is unfavorable to the distributor and very favorable to the company. If you want to know more about these details, write down breakage and, and talk to Stan Castleman about it. He'll explain it to you even better than I do. But that is what they create and it's like, oh, you didn't order on Tuesday? Oh, I'm sorry, you didn't read the small print. And our company does it so that the little guy makes money. And what we did is, it's kind of interesting, when you talk to really big leaders, we had a big leader say, uh, one of the biggest in the world, he said, oh, I could make more money from this company. Oh, you probably could in the first couple of years. But if you look at this correctly, by helping the small person, which typically will go out in three to eight months. So by getting this single mother with three kids to get a check, to get her products for free every month, very simply and honestly being paid for it at, at, a, at an affordable price, this woman will stay in. Most of you know, everybody that you know that gets in and gets on these products will never leave. Now talk to that big leader when he has 90% um, of the people that would have left his company staying in, in two to three years, he'll make way more money and everybody will make way more money in the two to three year mark than they ever would and ever will in any other company. We found that they will make five times the amount of money in this company through this, this marketing plan than they will in any other network marketing company that we can, that we've ever been able to see. Is that a fair statement? 
Okay, the commandment number four is maintain the highest efficacy of all the products, no dilution. Um, no dilution is, is one of my big pet peeves. Uh, the word filler is the F word to me. Um, we use zero, zero fillers. Now you have to remember, the capsulation companies and the capsulation um, equipment and the capsules themselves will not guarantee the equipment or the capsules from breakage unless I put a 20% flow agent or filler in it. I refuse, therefore I do not have warrantied stuff. And I tell my people, if we spill over product because we break more capsules, whose problem is that? Well, that's our problem, and we pay for it. But if we get you more pure products, and those products like the pain formula, or the sleep formula, or the heart formula, save lives and help people, then it's worth it. And you're getting 100% product. Yet, our governments allow us to not even put in 20%. If it's less than 20%, you don't have to put it on the label. Well, I can guarantee you, I can promise you, that ours has none of that in it. Because that's my commitment as creating these products for 200 years, is that we will not do anything that will stop these products from being the best. So there's no fillers, no fillers, no fillers, and no fillers. No flow agents, nothing. Most companies actually are higher than the 20% minimum usage. It's up to 50%. And I read it on labels all the time where they actually put it in there and people don't know what that ingredient is so they just think it's okay. It's 50% rice flour or oat flour. It's ridiculous. So commandment number five, we will always manufacture our own products. Why is that? Well, one, manufacturing companies always have their own product line, so they'd probably steal a formulation um, because they've never seen formulations like mine before, because there are none in existence, because I know we've manufactured for 916 other companies, and we know that nobody makes a product like mine, and that's why the products work so much better than everybody else's, because nobody else does anything anywhere close. If you don't understand this, please watch Nutrition 101 on YouTube. Put my name in, Josh Wood Cook. That's W-O-O-D-C-O-O-K. And watch Nutrition 101, and I diagram my way of formulating and a standard, medium, mediocre way of formulation. Not the worst case, like what we're talking about, what, what most companies do, which is do it by cost, but a normal, decent way compared to my way. And the difference is huge. And you're going to have a hundred times the amount of benefit from my products than you will the other. That's without taking into consideration that we don't put the fillers in. That's why you'll have to take, even if it was product for product, which it's not, you would have to take double the amount of their products to even get the same results as mine, which you can't. So we'll, only, we'll always manufacture our own products. And that way we can uh, do it the way that I've done it for years. I've created a lot of equipment. I've, I've created a lot of ways we do things that make our stuff more potent. Um, we've created a lot of a lot of different ways of doing things, breaking down the, the the structure of the of the or the cell structure of the herbs, so that you can assimilate it. We have all kinds of different things that we do. We have several very special proprietary um, processes that make the difference, and. We don't want anybody knowing how to do this. We don't want anybody knowing all of our proprietary differences. And we certainly want to be able to keep the efficacy of the products. And we want to make sure and guarantee that they don't cheapen our products. So we will always, that was commandment number five, is we will always manufacture our own. It will always be owned. And we will never branch it off to anybody else for any other reason. We will always keep the company and the family. We will never go public. Uh, there's multiple reasons for this. Um, we got offered before Mana from Heaven even uh, touched the ground. Stan and I got offered uh, quite a substantial sum. I would say that me and probably the next four generations of my family and Stan's family would never have to work or worry about it. And we could be on a yacht uh, soaking up the sun. Well, it didn't take us but 3.5 seconds to say no because they wanted to take it public and they wanted to manufacture it in Asia and they wanted to dilute the products and they wanted to triple the cost. It's obvious because every company that I've ever dealt with wants to do the same thing. This is why there's huge network marketing companies 
that have asked to have the products that you guys have, and maybe some of you guys are taking it for granted, um, at the cost that you have these at, there's huge companies, multi, multi, multi-billion dollar companies that ask for these two products. Some of them asked for some other products that we have here as well. Uh, one of them is the noggin formula. Um, but as for these products, they wanted to be able to manufacture them in their plant, and I said no. Um, offered a, a, a large amount of money per month to do that, and we said no. Um, I hope you understand what sacrifices we've had to do this. Um, here's the thing. I don't know if a lot of you guys know the Henry Ford story, or but it would be similar to mine. The reason we can't go public is... If, if we wanted to go public, the first person they would get rid of in, in this company would be me. Henry Ford got taken to court because he went public. And they tried to kick Henry Ford out of Henry Ford's own company. And I think that's pretty asinine, um, but that's what would happen to me. Uh, I would be the person removed first, Stan would be second, and public control forces a decrease of efficacy in the product dilution, and it would be diminished, and they would go by a profit margin, just like what happened to Apple Computer um, when their president, when, when their founder left, uh, they kicked him out, the company kind of uh, desatted, and when he came back, it, it went better again because he was the force behind it. He was the one that wanted the quality. So they would do many, many things by not only uh, typically change the compensation plan, and it would not be for the distributors, uh, it would not be in favor of the distributors, it would be for the company, and it would be for the dollar, it would be for the money, it would be for the lucre. These people only see it on the bottom line of their own money and their own interest. Um, I hope you understand by me going through this that you understand what we're here for. I've said it before, I'll say it again, I'll never stop saying it. You need to understand why we're here. Yes, I want you guys to make plenty of money. And yes, you will, and you'll make five times the amount of money in this compensation plan in this company with these products for a lower price than you will in any other company you can find. If you don't see that, have Stan Castleman explain it to you, and he'll write it out, and then you'll see it. And you can compare it. But you need to understand why we're here. It will be family-owned, it will never go public, and we'll never change these commandments. Commandment number seven, make it affordable to become involved with the company and the marketing plan. Um, I know lots of companies uh, that I've had products in, some of them were $1,200 to get involved. Uh, a lot of them, what they call front loading, you have to buy a lot of the products. You don't have to warehouse these products. You don't have to keep them in your garage. You don't have to buy them and then sell them to people. We made it very affordable so they can just be a, um, a distributor, $49 a year. That's pretty cheap to be able to make the money. Anybody that becomes a distributor for $49, sign up one person to be another distributor in this marketing plan, and you just paid for that whole yearly, yearly process. If you, We made it very simple and easy and free to just be a consumer, to be a patron, to come in and order products. Why? because we want you to be able to order the products. If you don't want to make money from it, I think it's silly because we've made it so easy. And if you like the products enough, you're probably going to tell somebody about it and they're going to order products. You would have just made money. But it's your choice. We believe in freedom and we believe that's how you need to be it. So we didn't front load it. We made it so it was only $79 to be in, involved in the company where all the other companies are $130 to $180 to $250 to $350. We know companies that are $350 a month just to order popcorn and chips. Most people can't do that. Most people can't afford it. So in this economy, we decided to make, and a lot of people think we're crazy, but because of the way we've orchestrated this plan, and you got to give kudos to Stan Kausman because he is the genius behind it is to make this at $79, which is the one. That's all it is. That's why it's called the one. It's the one product that every single person needs. If you can't afford anything else, this is the one product you take. My daughter refuses to take pills, so she just takes this. If her bowels need to move better, she just takes four scoops of it. It's an amazing thing just taking this one product. That's why this is the one, $79 a month. 
That's it. So everybody can do that. Most people can afford that. You can get rid of all your other vitamins and just do the one product. That makes it affordable. So we've made it very affordable to be in the company. The marketing plan is very lucrative for the distributor. And typical network marketing companies, uh, auto ship requirements are, are 160 to 240. I know they go a lot higher than that. Some of them are much higher, but that's typical. So mono, mono auto ship of the one is all, all we're asking of people in the mono net, and, and to get on the auto ship, you have benefits from that where you get to order the Doc Flowers product at a 20% discount just for being on your auto ship of the $79.99 of, of the one. So many network marketing companies uh, have the big front load and, and we just won't do it. So that's commandment number seven. Commandment number eight is the only way to make money in network marketing is to be the first in, be at the top of the pyramid. Well, that would truly be a pyramid. And that would not be right in itself, and there's nothing farther from the truth in this. Uh, most network marketing companies work by putting the leaders at the top, therefore making the most amount of money. And our innovative compensation plan works in a completely different way. We focus on ensuring each distributor, a large and small, is successful because we believe that that's how to build a, a solid, successful company with longevity. It doesn't matter where you go in this, in this downline. You will have the same benefits as the person at the top, above you, below you. The person below you can make more money than you make if they work harder. I believe it's simple. I believe in keeping it simple. The average person only can sign up 2.3 people. So we've, we've created this whole compensation plan so you don't have to be the first in. You don't have to be at the top. You can be anywhere in this. So commandment number nine, most network marketing companies require di distributors to be salespeople to sell the product. People, do these products work? You know they do. Everybody that takes these products gets blown away. They love the products. You don't have to be a salesperson to tell somebody about it. If you went to a great restaurant and had a great burrito or a great salad, you'd tell your friends. It's the same thing as this. Hey, you should see what I'm in. This is fantastic. You don't have to be a salesperson. Most of the training given to typical network marketing companies is how to sell, 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 sell. 99% of all people are not salespeople. The other thing is, is the reason they have to be salespeople is because they have to be full of crap. And most products of these other companies don't work. So you have to hype it. Most people would let, rather have the hype than the truth. All we're doing is providing truth. These products truly work. These products are better than I can even tell you they are. They're gonna work better for you and everybody in your family and everybody you know. That's all. You don't have to hype these products. The problem is, is these, this world has gotten used to a synthetic smelling rose smells better than a real rose. People are used to the lie. People are used to the hype of the lie. When you bring forth the truth, it doesn't have the fizzles and cracks and pops, but it lasts forever. These products will never change, they'll only get better, and they just keep working. You're gonna only get healthier. You don't have to be a salesperson in this company. At Mana, we use the simplest approach. Sample the product, let me know. The products do the selling for you. Every single person that gets on the one feels it. Whether it's in 30 minutes to two weeks, I don't know. Most people feel it in 30 minutes. The only products that anybody ever feels are energy caffeine stimulating products. We happen to have a bunch of products that everybody feels. We have slumber. You feel, you'll go to sleep. You got AD, works in 15 minutes, PMS goes away, hypo, all the hypochondriacal uh, effects go away. Um, you've got fuel, which is an energy product that does not dilute you from the, from from the uh, glucose, you've got the colon formula, you're gonna feel that the next morning. You've got the greens, the one, which you're gonna feel. You've got all the Doc Flowers products, all these work. It's amazing. Let the products do the selling for you. You don't have to be a salesman. What you do have to do is care about humans. You do have to care about people because you cannot keep this under a bushel. You cannot keep this and hide it from people. You have to care about the people that you associate with enough to help them how you're being helped. 
What if the person that introduced you to this, that you've had a great benefit from, maybe you are the father to a boy that used to be autistic that is no longer acting autistic. What if the person that introduced that father to that didn't introduce it? Do you see my point? If you hold it back, what if the person that's, that shared it with you held it back? How would you feel? Would you be upset that they had a secret and they didn't tell you about it? They could have helped you? Exactly. Let the products do the selling. Those people take off with it. Some people are going to take off with it big and some people are not. Love them all. That's what we're here for. Commandment number 10. See, we're making great progress. We're going to just go through this so fast. A great number of network marketing companies have or create a built-in obsolescence in three to five years. I've met with many, many, many of these originators of these companies. They get a product. They hype the product. The products are crap. The products are cheap. And the products are total fillers. It's a quick profit. They make the most amount of money because in compensation plans, most people are not going to qualify in the first couple of years anyways. And so in three to five years is when the company starts having to pay out to the compensation plan to the fullness and that's when they just sell out the company and they made billions of dollars. It's disgusting. Then that leaves the distributors in the dust and nothing. And you know what these guys do? They go and create another one with a really great name and really great hype products that sound really wonderful for a, uh, a juice that happens to be from Asia maybe or Eastern Russia and it's rare and tropical and it only grows underneath a mushroom with a cow standing over it and this miracle product happens to be so amazing and they're the only ones that have it and then three to five years they go away. I can tell you this, there is no miracle product, I mean no miracle fruit. Every culture, every country has something great. Every dry desert has a beautiful rose. Every Every tropical place has a great berry or fruit. Every one of these is wonderful. That's why the one has them from everywhere. And that way you get a total synergistic blend of all the nutrients from around the world, from the seaweeds to the roots to the fruits to everything you need to the sprouting grasses. That's what you need is from everywhere. It's funny because we all, oh, this Asians, they want our, we want these fruits from Asia. You know what they want? They like our oranges. They love our oranges when you go to Japan. It's fascinating. The grass is always greener on the other side. My mom always said the grass is always greener on the other side because there's a septic tank below it. So Mono was created to support the legacy of six generations of my family. 200 years. And it will be carried forward for many more. I'm working on it right now to carry this forward and we're gonna have another generation and hopefully another generation and I hope your children and you'll be getting filled in the full compensation of this company and your children will be involved I know people that are signing up positions for their children so that they can build that underneath for their children and hopefully their grandchildren this is going to last this is built to last that long this company has been let to built to last indefinitely it's a product based company Product-based companies do not build on hype, and they're solid, and that's what we wanted this to be, and that's what it is. Commandment number 11, in a majority of network marketing companies, money is the key driving factor, cost, profit, return. Um, even when you watch our video on the Mana from Heaven website, you'll notice that money is at the end. Mana as always puts people first. The bottom line is helping people. You hear me tell you this every single day. Believe it, because it's the truth. Mana never is concerned about the cost of any product or profit, only the result. This is one of my favorite commandments because this is me. I never create a product for you, whether it's the disc formula, whether it's a muscle formula, a hair formula, a pain formula, a heart formula or the one based on cost. I don't care what it costs. I really don't. Whatever it costs is whatever it costs and we'll price it accordingly. It's never concerned about it. We only build it to be the best product that you can get, period. If I can make that sleeping formula better, I guarantee you will have a better sleeping formula. If I can make the one better, I promise you, you're gonna have a better the one.
If I can make a healthier colon formula, you're going to have a healthier colon formula. If I create another product, and I tell you this, there's not a product I developed that we will not get to you people some way. Because if we're going to get that product and it's going to help somebody somewhere, you're going to have access to it. And it's going to be the highest quality that can possibly be made. Not just what I can make. I look at every ingredient. I look at every place of where we can find it. How can we make it better? How can we make it stronger? How can we make it so you need to take less to have a better result? How can we do this? That's what I'm about. That's what this whole company is about. That's what Stan and I believe in. And that's one of the, that's the 11th commandment of this company.